Hi guys and welcome to the new series, The Butterfly That Brought Us Together, written and narrated by Stacey Holt. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment to support the series. I need to go ahead and say this now before you skip over it. I need to give you some background to the series before we jump into it. It starts out kind of slow, but it picks up fast and it moves very fast. So please stick around and try and keep up. But it is very it's a very short series, but it has a lot of chapters. Now, chapter 1, forced. How could his father do this to him? Why would his father ask this of his own son just for a publicity stunt? Of course, he wouldn't think this was a big deal. He didn't have to deal with Chloe. Yeah, he liked Chloe, but date her? He loved Ladybug. How could he flirt and make jokes around Ladybug when he was technically dating Chloe as Adrian? Wait, isn't that technically cheating? He didn't want to be classified as a cheater. It's all right. It was only for two weeks. At least that's what his father thinks anyways. <sighs> oh no, this was going to be a long two weeks. Just breathe, Adrian. You can get through this. Adrian stepped into his car with a huff as his driver took off toward Chloe's hotel. The car ride there seemed to fly by, wishing it would take a little longer. He got out of the car and opened the car door for Chloe. She smiled and she gave him a kiss on the cheek before she got in. He rolled his eyes and got in, faking a smile. He couldn't tell her it was a publicity stunt. That would crush her. How could his father do this to him? He even threatened to take him out of school if he didn't. This was so unfair. I can't believe you really like me. I mean, how could you not? It took you long enough. Chloe laughed, taking her phone out to take a picture of them together. Chloe posted the picture and tagged him, stating, Couple goals with my bae. Bae? Adrian asked, a little confused. Yes, Adrikins, we're dating. We have to have pet names. Chloe squealed. Adrian looked out of the window, knowing that everything was wrong. He didn't think that his first girlfriend would be forced. They arrived at school a few minutes later. Adrian opened the door for Chloe, revealing to everyone passing by that she rode to school with him. Instead of acting casual like he wanted to, he knew Chloe would be extra. She stepped out of the car and grabbed his arm, letting him lead as they walked with one another. As they made it to the center of the school to talk and mingle before classes, Lila noticed Chloe being a little too close to Adrian and approached them. Wow, Chloe, you're being very friendly with Adrian today, Lila said, glaring. We're dating, snake. Get lost. Chloe shot back, seeing Lila's eyes widen with the new knowledge and stormed off. Chloe laughed but soon stopped when she felt Adrian pull away from her grasp. He stepped a few steps away to look at her clearly, and she could see that he was not happy with her. Why are you acting this way, Chloe? Adrian asked. I'm just, I don't want them to take you away from me, Adrikins. Chloe tried to sound sad, so he would stop being mad at her. Adrian groaned, and Chloe returned to hug his arm, closing her eyes to soak in the feeling of being his girlfriend. Adrian sighed, knowing it would be best to keep quiet, and not to cause a lot of attention. Though the silence didn't last long, an Akuma appeared soon after, and was wreaking havoc though Chloe clenched tighter onto his arm. Come on, let's find a place to hide, Adrian said, grabbing Chloe's hand to lead her to the lockers. He placed her in a locker, but she tugged at his shirt, rejecting the idea of being alone. Adrian needed to leave, but he couldn't be that obvious about it. He clenched his fist, looking down at Plague, who was silently telling him not to risk it. Adrian sighed and turned to Chloe, pulling her out of the locker and they hid in a corner of the locker room together. How could he sit by and let Nakuma run wild? How could Cat Noir not show up when he knew there was danger? How could he let Ladybug down? His true love. He was leaving Ladybug to fight and defend by herself. After a long and hard battle, Ladybug defeated the Akuma. Miraculous Ladybug! She yelled, fixing everything back to normal. Ladybug looked around and sighed as she saw that Cat never showed up. She was more tired and beaten than normal, having to defend and attack at the same time, feeling weaker without her trusted partner. Nothing could make today worse. 
thank you so much for watching. The next chapter will be available soon. If you haven't already, you can go ahead and check out my other two series, Thunderstorms and Melting. Also, I don't know if I said this or not, but this series will probably be coming out every day since they're kind of short. But we'll see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.